Hey guys, Dark Recycling FPV, and I've got an RMA here. <clears throat> a gentleman bought a new radio and says that the radio doesn't work. <clears throat> and, uh, excuse me, I got a little, a little uh, frog in my throat there. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and open this up because I have a feeling what he's done. I think what he was trying to do is um, uh, load some firmware on here or do something to flash the firmware. And I think he's bricked it, but I don't know. I'm just going to go ahead because it's... This is one of those where it was like, hey, it's not working. I just want to return it. And I'm like, no, I need to see it. Um, we need to understand what's going on. So uh, <clears throat> hopefully get this taken care of uh, for the customer. And this was bought from us. Uh, but uh, again, it's like, you know, I, I don't know. It's just one of those things where, um, you know, you've got to, you can't just mess around with it. And then be like, okay, now I don't want it because I can't get through it because I messed around with it. So uh, we're gonna just go ahead and try to figure it out instead here. So anyways, let's see what we've got here. Let's see if he's, uh, okay. So I'm gonna take this out. I think I've got something that'll substitute right now. Just throw this one in here for the time being. I'm pretty sure it'll be just as good. Let's go do that. There, let's fill that in there for the time being. kind of get it to go. There we go. Okay. So what apparently what it does is it just looks like it's going to turn on and it stops. Extremely, uh, <clears throat> something that's more common if the person has bricked it. <clears throat> Man. Anyways, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and I'm going to open open TX. So give me a second. Uh, let's see the open TX right here. <clears throat> I think that's better now. So, and I'm going to show you the computer screen here in just a second. So let's just do that. All right. So OpenTX open is open. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, I don't know what firmware this person would have loaded, but I'm going to just plug this in. And I'm going to share the screens here so you can see. Just like that. Okay. Now, again, I don't know what he's loaded, but this is the, uh, uh, the QX7. see if it'll detect it without a problem because I've got a USB port like a extended port and sometimes it causes a problem all right let's see so let me go to my settings and my screen down here there we go okay and then we're gonna go to radio profiles customer QX7 access right there Cable's got a problem or not, we'll see. As a matter of fact, I'll just plug it into the computer directly. There. Let's see if that takes care of that. No, let's check. Okay, just gonna hook in. Quit messing around. Now we're gonna try to write. Uh, let me make sure this is the right one. Customer QX7 access 2.3.14. Let's just do that. Let's see if it'll detect the radio. I don't know if I just have a bad cable or what. There it goes. Okay, so it's saying that the firmware I'm trying to load is not compatible with this one, which means he loaded the wrong firmware. So to fix that, because well, I have this check firmware compatibility, so he's loaded the wrong firmware, so we're just going to tell it to skip checking. I know the firmware I'm loading right now is the right firmware, so I don't even, I don't even care. If it, says that his, if it says that it's got the wrong one, that's a mistake on his part. So we're going to basically reset it, and then we're going to flash the whole system back to normal. So it's very important, guys, that you... When you flash these radios, you know, be very careful what you're flashing them with. I mean, it's a common mistake, uh, but it's like not the radio's fault. So you don't just, hey, it's, you know, I've done made a mistake and now I want to return it. And, and I, I think that that's probably my biggest concern is that people are quick to just throw in the towel, especially if they've caused a the problem. And then it's up to us to, you know, fix it. And really the customers, uh, 
you know, they, they've got to understand that once you plug this thing in and you start messing with it, if you break it, I mean, you're not entitled to get a new one. You're not entitled to do anything. You're entitled to ask for some help and you're entitled to, um, you know, take responsibility for what you've done and that's it. Um, but that's unfortunately not how it goes necessarily. But anyways, for this guy here, um, he sent it back to us and, and we're going to show him exactly what he's done wrong and hopefully he'll make sure in the future not to do that. All right, so we've loaded that firmware. Now what we're going to do is we're going to unplug it. Okay, so I'm just going to use this safely right here to unplug it. Here we go. I'm going to pull that out. You see how it comes on now? I mean, now you can see. Okay, so the issue here is all the firmware is wrong. Okay, so now... Uh, now what we're gonna do is let's just go see what he did um, so we're gonna go now and we're gonna flash it okay oops uh, we're gonna flash the, the setup the system here so I've now got the bootloader working now I'm gonna actually flash the radio itself okay so again this is guys just pay attention I mean if you get to this point it's it's something you've done just go back and do it this way so he's got two point okay so let me go ahead and now let's Go back here and we're gonna write the firmware again and this time it's gonna write it here we go and now we can do a hardware compatibility check because that's gonna work and we are on OpenTX and we are running uh, give yourself an access so watch now we're gonna write it now if it fails the hardware compatibility check I, I was thinking maybe I should have checked that because it's still gonna be checking the old uh, firmware so uh, there's still old firmware on here not just the bootloader that was loaded wrong, but the standard firmware was loaded incorrectly. So we may get a fail here, and we'll have to remove that check mark again. So that may have been, I may have needed to leave that like it was for just a minute. Oh, it finished it. Okay, good. So, uh, so that is good. So now everything's done here. So now what we can do is I want to go to my options real quickly. So let me go to settings, radio profiles. Let's go to, uh, sorry, let's go to um, settings right here. Make sure that we have... Uh, Little SQ, okay. Yeah, everything else is here like it's supposed to be. All right, so we're gonna close that. Um, he does not have an SD card loaded, so there's nothing to do on that end. So that's it. So what we're gonna do is now we're gonna do a safe eject. Okay, so we're gonna get both of these out. All right, now let's unplug it. And now, we're gonna go to exit. And it's done, okay. And that's how you solve this problem, guys. So we're gonna box this back up, get it ready to send back out to, I gotta take the batteries out actually. Um, get it ready to send back to the customers. But guys, again, I mean, here, look, it's very simple. So look, this, this whole idea, and I'm not, I'm not dogging on this customer because, um, but, but this is just for everybody in general. It's like, it's getting it to be overwhelming now where, where it's like, look, you don't get to, you know, I mean, maybe you do get to, maybe, maybe, maybe this is uh, the way things are gonna work now, but not with us, I mean, obviously. Um, but it's like this whole idea of, I'm going to do all this, do all this, do all this, and then I want to return it because it's not, no. I mean, like, if you do that, then you've got to take responsibility for it. So in this case, this will be going back to the gentleman. I'm not swapping it out or doing anything else. It's clearly, it's working. But you guys, I mean, like, seriously, start taking responsibility for it, okay? Um, not saying this guy didn't. I'm just, in general, it's getting really old now. Um, you know, and and, uh, and it gets really overwhelming. And, and when people are like, well, I know how to do this. I've been doing it for 500 years. And I mean, well, obviously you haven't. All right, anyways, to this guy, he's all set, though. So he will be getting his back to everybody else. God bless, guys. Be safe. And most of all, it is Super Bowl Sunday today. So go spend time with your family. Go have some fun. I am going to do that out of here in just a little bit. i got a lot of work to catch up on. I'm about to do a video on our new frame here as well. I'll do a build video on this one and then to do some more stuff. So um, if you have any questions, hit me up. Uh, otherwise, God bless. And uh, we'll see you soon. All right, guys. Peace.